टुडे आई एम हेयर टू डिस्कस क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एंटीस्टेमनिक एजेंट्स सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग क्लासिफिकेशन वी विल अंडरस्टैंड द टर्म एंटीस्टेमनिक एजेंट्स एंटीस्टेमनिक एजेंट्स आर ऑल्सो नोन एज एंटीस्टमीन्स एंटीस्टमीन्स रिप्रजेंट्स अ स्पेसिफिक क्लास ऑफ ड्रग्स दैट कम्बैट द हिस्टमिन रिलीज्ड during an allergic reaction by blocking the action of the histamine on the tissue this definition states that antihistamines are the drugs that fight against the released histamine during any allergic reaction they act by blocking the action of the histamine on the tissues now in this case antihistamines do not stop the formation of histamine nor do they stop the conflict between the ige and antigen ige represents immunoglobin e and these are the antibodies produced by the immune system therefore antihistamines do not stop the allergic reaction but protect tissues from some of its effects next is classification of antihistaminic agents this classification is divided into four main categories first one h1 antagonists second one mast cell stabilizers third one h2 antagonists and fourth one proton pump inhibitors the biggest subcategory in this classification is of h1 antagonists H1 antagonists are further subdivided into various categories according to their structural features. The first subcategory of H1 antagonists is of amino alkyl ethers. They are also known as ethanolamines. Second one, piperazines or cyclazines. Third one, propylamines or monoamino propyl. or alkylamine derivatives next one phenothiazines and the last one is dibenzocycloheptenes and dibenzocycloheptenes antagonists are also known as first generation antihistamines first subcategory of this class is of amino alkyl ethers this includes diphenhydramine hydrochloride it was the first clinically useful member of the ethanolamine series and serves as the prototype other drug candidate includes dimenhydrinate doxylamine succinate clemstein fumarate diphenyl pyrrolein hydrochloride and in ethylene diamines triplenamine hydrochloride or citrate second subcategory of h1 antagonists include piperazines or cyclazines these are ethylene diamine derivatives or cyclic ethylene diamines first drug of this category is chlorocyclazine hydrochloride next one is meclizine hydrochloride next subcategory in h1 antihistaminics include propylamines these are also known as monoamino propyl or alkylamine derivatives first drug of this category is buclizine hydrochloride other drug candidates include chlorpheniramine malate stereo isomeric representative of this drug dextrochlorpheniramine malate triprolidine hydrochloride and phenidamine tartrate 
Next subcategory of H1 antihistaminics is phenothiazines. First drug of this category is promethazine hydrochloride. In this structure, the mid portion of the ring represents phenothiazine ring. Second drug of this category is trimeprazine tartrate. Next subcategory of H1 antihistaminics is of dibenzocycloheptines and dibenzocycloheptines. First drug of this category is cyproheptadine hydrochloride. Second drug of this category is azetidine malate. Other drug candidates in H1 antihistaminic category are second generation antihistamines. Second generation antihistamines are advanced antihistamines with lower sedation potential. They also have reduced binding affinities for non-target proteins. These non-target proteins are muscarinic, adrenergic and serotonergic receptors. Because of this reduced binding affinities for non-target proteins, they have lower sedation potential than first generation drugs. First drug of this category is estimazole. Second drug of this category is the most widely used derivative levocitrazine dihydrochloride. Next drug candidates include loratadine and citrazine. Second main category of antihistaminic drugs include inhibition of histamine release or mast cell stabilizers. The only drug candidate in this category is chromaline sodium. Third main category is S2 antagonists. S2 antagonists act on H2 receptor. They are used to treat acid indigestion. gastroesophageal reflux disease conditions, peptic ulcers and pathologic hypersecretory disorders as well as some of the symptoms of urticaria and anaphylaxis. Here urticaria represents mosquito bite like swelling on the surface of skin while anaphylaxis represent life threatening allergic reactions. In this case, if you are allergic to a substance, your immune system overreacts by releasing chemicals that cause allergic symptoms. The drug candidate in this category include cimetidine and famotidine. One another drug candidate in this category is ranitidine. The last category of antihistaminic include gastric proton pump inhibitors. These, act, these drugs act on gastric proton pump. This is the basic structure of gastric proton pump inhibitor. By substituting different groups in this structure, you can generate omiprazole, lansoprazole, pantoprazole, and ravipazole. Thank you.